Now that Harper's gone, I think uh, people will be a lot happier. I think we're ready for change. Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy that he's out of power. Towards the end of his like whole uh, term, he didn't seem like he was who he said he was. I'm happy he's not there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It was like a cherry on top when he was just like, I'm stepping down, or I was like, ah, oh, I'm good. I don't miss Harbour because of the abuse of power. I'm glad that he's not Prime Minister because of the like second grade citizen thing. I think it's just kind of ridiculous that, like it's so obviously racist, and I don't know, it's just crazy that anyone was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. I was just tired of him. Yeah. Too much power, not doing the right thing. I'm glad Harper is gone because he was a negative impact on Canada. He ruined our reputation internationally and he was a, a vicious SOB in the way he handled politics, which is not our way either. So, good riddance. On the day after the election, I walked out of my house. I felt like it was like a new day, like literally, and it was like a new path that we were going on as Canadians. I don't know what that path is going to be, but I'm just happy that it's not another three years with Stephen. I'm disappointed. I'm a Harper supporter, always have been, especially in foreign affairs. He's uh, not frightened to let other nations know where he stands. I'm just happy that they're gone, that hopefully our economy will uh, be back as to where it was. Our dollar will be back up as to part to the American dollar. I'm delighted that we have somebody new and that, and that, and that we're finally rid of him. Hopefully Mr. Trudeau will become as popular as his father was and hopefully he will not become as unpopular as his father became. Change is good as long as it's done properly. I don't think it's going to be that big of a change. Literally all I've heard about him so far is just that he's handsome. Like one of the issues I know that um, Trudeau is doing is the whole like actually looking for the missing Aboriginal women and like Stephen Harper just kind of like ignored that completely. I used to put my flag on the back of my backpack when I traveled and I haven't done that in a long time. Things will be better for people living in the city, people in terms of housing, refugees, lots of humanistic issues I think will be better taken care of now. So we say bye bye Harper!